Uh, governor Mark Dayton is back home this evening after spending the night at Regions Hospital. The governor, who has a history of health problems, fainted at a political event in Woodbury last night. Here's a picture of Dayton speaking at the event last night. According to a senior aide, after the governor fainted, he left the event and fainted again as he was being driven back to the governor's mansion. It was at that point that his secretary, Detail, decided to bring him to Regions Hospital. As Amy Murphy has been looking into how the governor's doing, and this is just the latest in a series of health problems for the governor, really. Absolutely, Amelia. Senior aide to the governor, Bob Hume, says the problem this time was dehydration. The governor has been recovering from elective back surgery in early December. Since 2012, he's undergone three other major procedures, including another back surgery and a hip surgery. While the 69-year-old governor was hospitalized, his office released a letter from him to top legislative leaders about the need for a special session. Senior aide Bob Hume stressed the governor was alert and working. The governor's son, Eric Dayton, took to Twitter indicating his father was fine because, quote, his jokes are still terrible. Political analyst Larry Jacobs said despite assurances, this latest health scare raises concerns. It's not just one event. There seems to be a series of events. The level of anxiety in the state is higher than it would be normally. Dayton has blamed his years as a hockey goalie, including at the Division I college level, for his ailments, which in the past he has readily joked about. Last time I looked, brain cells are not, you don't gather in the hip. Uh, so, you know, I, I won't be able to run interference for Adrian Peterson next fall, but you know, on that, in terms of what my job description is, I don't see any impediment. Minnesota's top legislative leaders say they are confident in the governor's ability to do his job and to recover. Senate Majority Leader Tom Bach. The previous issues were relative to back problems and a hip problem they had, and, and those are wearing parts. Uh, I've got shoulder problems myself. House Speaker Kurt Dow. So we wish him a speedy recovery and, and uh, hope that it's nothing more serious than that. And again, in the end, the problem this time we are being told was dehydration and also that the room last night was crowded and warm. And aide tells us just before the governor fainted, he felt pressure in his back and did feel lightheaded. And now we heard he was working from his hospital bed. Absolutely. I mean, when does he plan on returning fully? Well, actually, work? Amelia, just within the past half hour, we've heard from the governor's office who says he's going to keep a full schedule tomorrow. He's got an 8 a.m. scheduled event tomorrow that he's going to keep. And after that, he's going to hold a press conference in which he no doubt will be asked questions about his house. Mm -hmm. After that, a full day of meetings. So well, he obviously is feeling a lot better. Obviously. All yes. right. Thank you, Esme.